One, two. Oh, oh man. Just let's let's just roll it. All right, so the new Wrong Turn 2021 film is a reboot to the Wrong Turn that came out back in the day. I believe it was in 2003. This is directed by Mike P. Nelson. And man, let, let me say, this is definitely a film that I struggled to get through with. And which baffles me too is this, this film actually has a Rotten Tomato score of 64%, which actually baffles my mind. Because let me, let me just talk about it real quick. We'll actually go into the positives first because it's going to be real quick real simple the one positive of this film is some of the kills and some of the graphics and the realistic stuff they do for the kills is top notch like some of the graphics the gore that that's good that's our one solace saving thing in this film and i'm not lying to you so let's move on to the negatives of this film which is basically everything else that surrounds that so this is the seventh installment in the Wrong Turn franchise, and this is the attempt to first the first attempt at actually rebooting the franchise. So it's supposed to be this one, and we're not supposed to acknowledge the other ones, apparently. But oh man, this one is just it is everything is wrong with this film. The story, the pacing. We have some of the most annoying characters that I've ever seen in a horror film by far. It's definitely just it's it's a struggle to get through because I was actually watching this film and about like an hour in I could actually remember the exact time about 60 minutes in I looked at the time and I paused this and I was like how much time do we got left on this I was like it's, it's about time I need this to end and we still had 50 minutes left this is literally almost a two hour film of the most complete just uh, utter garbage horror that I've ever seen it is actually kind of frustrating like some of the stuff in this film actually really frustrates me like I said my only solace the only thing in this film that is really good is the kill scenes like some of the kill scenes and the actual realistic effects they got for that that's it every character in this movie sucks the storyline sucks the pacing sucks just everything about the concept of this movie was horrible. And I'm really, really upset because, like I said, the, the Wrong Turn franchise is, is definitely not a strong franchise. There's definitely some weak films in this franchise, especially like 4 and 6 and stuff like that. Like some of those ones are just very weak films. But th this film makes those looks like 7s or 8s, in my opinion. That's how bad this film was. We also have our only reference to the other films at all in terms of like, basically the style is just the woods. Our setting references to the old films and there's another reference later in the film in the last 10 minutes and it's literally a freaking joke. And I'm not even kidding you. Like it's a joke referencing the other films and like, oh man, it was like for me, it felt like the director of this film punching a jab at the other films like punching a jab at the other creators and i'm like are you kidding me right now like this ugh, this like film it just had all the wrong characters the wrong concept everything about it was just so frustrating and, and that's what bothered me the music all of it it was just everything is lit no pun intended the wrong turn like i said it was just very easy to just look at this film and just be like oh i want to watch it because i'm attached to the wrong turn franchise i knew they were rebooting it I'm not too attached to the director, so I was just like, oh, let's get into this, see something new. And as it unfolded, I was like, there's no way this can be worse than some of the other ones. And it just kept going. It kept going. It was like a film digging its own grave. That's exactly what happened with this movie. It was literally watching a film dig its own grave. And I was like, are you kidding me right now? Like, this is that bad. So, like, I just want to get down to the rating. Like, we're done We're done with talking about this film because I'm so frustrated. I'm so mad at this film. It was, like like I said, complete, utter garbage. But I had to talk about it. I had to bring it up because, like I said, I look at this film. 76% of Google users like this film. It has a 64% on Rotten Tomatoes and a 5.5 out of 10 on IMDb. This film right here. And me, from my opinion, I, w I want the hour and 50 minutes, I want that 
time of my life back because that's how bad this film was like i said in, in my opinion in my book this film is going to get a one out of ten and the only reason it gets a one is like i said we had some pretty gory graphic kill scenes like that i appreciated for being realistic effects but like i said everything else around it was just nothing it was complete worthless and that's what sucks i was like damn i wanted this to be a new reboot the trailers for this actually don't really tell you too much i went back and watched the trailer for this film and it really it, it gives you like kind of the premise of the story of what it is but it doesn't tell you too much so it wasn't like oh you know like giving you hints at what the actual stuff was going to be in the film when i watched it and i was just like damn hot damn this is easily the worst horror movie, in my opinion. I'm ashamed a little bit to call this a horror film because this is easily the worst one, I think, on this planet Earth right now, currently. So, <laughs> thanks for sticking around with me, guys. I just I had to talk about this one because I was so frustrated with it. I was so angry, like this film actually really pissed me off. So I had to bring this one and talk to you guys about it and tell you, like, just I, I would I wouldn't even recommend it. I'm telling you right now, stay away from this film. It is a bad movie, very bad film. Like I said in my book, a one out of ten. Thanks for sticking around with me, guys, for another rad movie review. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I didn't enjoy this film. I enjoyed bringing it to you guys, but I definitely didn't enjoy this film. Leave a like, hit that subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on all the content that I put out. Have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.